Hey there, welcome back to another edition of Tony's Fords and Mustangs. If you're considering purchasing a 2022 Ranger, you might want to hold off just a little bit longer and consider a 2023. It's going to be a much better truck, regardless of trim levels. And the 2023 models are going to be here sooner than you think. Stay tuned. Now, why am I saying this? And you might really be confused if you live in North America. I mean, the Ranger just got here in 2019, right? And uh, no, not really. Let me show you. The Ranger has been in its current configuration everywhere else in the world since 2015. And that model is a refresh of a truck that was first built in 2011 called the T6. So the current Ranger has been in production around the world for over 11 years. The model year versus the build date on the Rangers is a bit confusing. The release date of the 2023 Ford Ranger will likely be either summer or fall of 2022. Now, it's hard to say with supply shortages, but the 2023 model trucks are going to start production in the first quarter of this year. Yes, the 2023 is going to be built in 2022, hence the confusion. I would imagine the rest of the world will see the Ranger prior to its arrival in North America. It was just announced the 2023 Ranger Raptor will be available in North America and Europe for the first time. There's going to be much more on the Raptor later. However, it may surprise North America to know this isn't even the first Ranger Raptor edition. It was unveiled in Thailand in February 2018, and this Raptor edition was available in almost every other market where the Ranger can be purchased other than North America. What do we already know about the 2023 Ranger? Well, a lot, really. The new truck will be closely related to the current full-size Bronco, and that means an upgraded chassis, added wheelbase, wider tracks, roughly 50 millimeters or two inches for each, and all new suspension, which has been placed further outward. And that last change allows for more room for spring and dampening articulation, which improves ride and handling capabilities regardless of load. It also improves 4x4 off-road capability due to greater wheel travel. There'll be two body styles of the Ranger, a four-door crew cab and an extended cab model with two and a half rear doors. The Ranger will feature a wider bed, allowing for standard shipping pallets for a standard four-foot wide sheet of plywood to fit. The engine bay is reworked. Ford has said it will offer the new Ranger with a turbo diesel V6 in some markets, mostly outside North America, and I expect the American version to be powered by the same turbocharged 2.3 liter four-cylinder engine as the current truck, with rear-wheel drive as standard and a 4x4 system as optional. We could see a hybrid powertrain option at some point, probably not at launch. There's a huge upgrade to the interior, the new Ranger. A 10 1.1 or 12.1 inch portrait oriented infotainment touchscreen is included. Like what we've seen in the Mustang Mach-E, it's front and center. Those LCDs run Ford Sync 4 user interface, which includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. An all digital display is standard equipment. There's an overhead center console with switches, a drive mode selector like we've seen in the new Bronco, USB type A and type C ports in the front row, a wireless charging dock, and a 360 degree camera system is available to show a view of the path ahead. Also included as under rear seat storage. Additional items of interest that are available include zone exterior lighting, a power outlet in the box or bed of the truck, an adjustable tie down which moves on rails, load box steps built into the rear bumper, cargo rails built into the bed lips, and load dividers built into the bed of the truck which allow you to easily separate cargo with standard 2x4s. I know I haven't covered all the options and not all of this will be included in every trim level but it is available. What else do we know already about the 2023 Ranger? Well the release of information from Ford on the 2023 Raptor gives us a lot more information. The Raptor has a lot of specific information, including the twin turbo 3.0 liter V6 engine that's available in North America, making 392 horsepower and 430 foot pounds of torque. It's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and four wheel drive as standard, as is a two speed transfer case with front and rear locking differentials. I'm sorry for those in Europe and outside North America, you'll be getting the 25% detuned version of this power plant. Yes, that's rough, but it's still 285 horsepower and 362 foot pounds of torque, which isn't too shabby. The Ranger Raptor gets 2.5 inch diameter Fox shocks and anti lag feature, which allows the turbos to remain spooled when you lift off the throttle for a brief period. The 
Ranger Raptor also has three drive modes, normal, sport, and slippery. And there are four special off-road modes, rock crawl, sand, mud slash ruts, and Baja. Perhaps the coolest feature is Baja mode, as it almost makes the Ranger Raptor a certified off-road racer. The Raptor features an active exhaust system with four different modes. Hardy steel underbody armor and structural reinforcements have been added. All the suspension mount points have been fortified to ensure the truck can handle all the off-plane jumping that the average buyer is likely to dish out. The truck's frame has also been beefed up, adding structural reinforcements to areas which might be compromised when hitting the trails. 33-inch BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires, along with 17-inch beadlock capable wheels, will be optional. The models I expect to see, and this may vary depending on where you reside, the XL, the XLT, Lariat, and Raptor in North America, special editions being the STX Tremor Off-Road, the XL, XLT, Sport, Wild Track, and Raptor in all other markets. Ford hasn't said exactly how much the Ranger can tow or haul, but expect that Ford will improve upon the truck's current 1,860 pound maximum payload and 7,500 pound maximum tow rating. As for miles per gallon, they also have not been released, however I see no reason the new truck shouldn't meet or exceed the 21 city and 26 highway that the current Ranger enjoys. So there are many of the reasons why if you're thinking about a mid-sized truck, I think you should consider waiting on a 2023 Ranger. We're probably talking a few months. I know supply constraints have really slowed down production at Ford. I've also, I'm looking for a mid-sized truck potentially. I've been driving a 2009 Ford F-150 and that's 16 miles per gallon on average. It's just getting a little rough. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I personally appreciate that. And maybe hit the like button so other people can see it as well. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll see you.